Now that's a big box. Magic Con. We're going to crack this open. Let's just get into it. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. It's good old Joey Moss. It's your boy. Don't say that. All right, fair enough. It's your boy. What's all in the bottom here? Does it say some stuff? Miss, oh, there you go, contains. We're going to let it be a surprise. <clears throat> What's all in here? Here we go, baby. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, nice. look at that. Fancy, friggin' schmancy, man. Talk about some serious packaging. Now this baby delivers. Okay. Yeah, huge shout out to Ground Zero, man. Check them out. Um, Ground Zero Comics in Strongsville, Ohio. Got all your magic needs. Whoa. What's inside the box? Let's do this. Uh, okay. Secret Layer Drop Series. Dan Frazier's Mox Box. And a Mystery Booster Box. And then we're going to gut this in a moment. We're opening everything in this one video right now. Let's see. Anything else in there? Nope. Okay. So you get this little... Oh, those are nice. These are beautiful. Let's get a good look. Dan Frazier's good old Mox. Mox Opal. Oh, man. That is sick. Beautifully done, Mox Opal. Of course, Mox Tantalite. Recently seeing a bit more uh, play. Thanks to some cards uh, boosting the suspend mechanic there. Beautiful Mox Tantalite. Followed by a soul ring, of course. Of course. Oh, wonderful art by Dan Frazier. That is something. These are nicely done. An Arcane Signet. That is a solid... Secret layer, if I've ever seen one. Okay. So there's those four. And let's see what else we got here. Mystery booster box. We're going to save this bad boy for last. Um, and then we're going to get up into the... Well, let's do the mystery box right now. You see the stars? Did you take a video? Yeah. I've never seen a star I guess there were a bunch of stars all aligned or something. And they were all like a bunch of UFOs flying through the sky just now. If anyone else knows, like, that's how they're watching. It's like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, drop a comment. But I guess some crazy stuff has happened. I'm in Cleveland, Ohio. That's where it went down. But yeah. All right. Let's see what's up inside of these before we get to the crazy box. Uh, yeah, baby. Okay. Awesome. Whole lot of value up in here, man. Um, it's hard to know. Like, uh, well, actually, I probably do know what's everything's you know, the value of all these cards, but. We're not going to get into that. These are these were so much fun to open. I remember breaking open uh, just a boatload of mystery booster packs over the years. I've probably opened about tw maybe 20 boxes worth. They're really fun to do battles with as well. But the cool thing is the common and uncommon slot is where you can find some value. Now, I know I'm just kind of blazing through. I remember when Nettle Sentinel was like 3 bucks. Not anymore. I know we're going to have blazing through this, but we have a lot to discuss. We can't just spend 10 minutes on a... This used to be 3 bucks even. Uh, that's still up there in price. Nice Torment of Hailfire. About a freaking bang. Um, on the, the downside, um, there was a time those test print cards were worth a darn. They ain't worth crap anymore. They ain't nothing. They ain't nothing to, to, to funk with. You know, ephemerate's cool. Powerful card there. Got to remember, Demon I think Demonic Tutor is hiding in here, right? I know I've cracked one. It took forever. It was like maybe my 15th box before we ended up uh, busting one open. Queen Marquesa. You know, as many times as I've opened this product, it, it uh, never fails me that. It's like, I feel like I've, I've opened every single card. Uh, was it Ristic Studies in here as well? There's like some serious value cards, you know, the common uncommon slot. And uh, the Mana Crypt as well as hiding. The last time we did one of these bundles, we did crack a Mana Crypt. Just a lot of playables. Um, and then there's like no end in sight for how many boxes will be printed. Beautiful Mistress Bobble. Sliver Hive Lord. Get off me, dog. Nobody's on you. Nice pull there with the Sliver Hive Lord. Gotta love these. And then, yeah, the test print cards are a little unsatisfactory at this point. When they first came out, they were cool. But now it's kind of like the price has just plummeted. Cool concept, whatever, but yeah, it's not really doing much for us at this point. Bam! Speaking of the devil, hot diggity dogs. That's probably $30, $40 easy demonic tutor. Interesting thing about demonic tutor. That's an uncommon, too. The interesting thing about the demonic tutors. Um, or, it's, or demonic. Demonic, it's demonic. It was supposed to be banned. They were about to ban it. Um, not ban it. I'm sorry, not ban it. They were about to uh, 
have it on the reserve list. And it actually, I think, was on the reserve list for a very short time. That and Soul Ring, I believe. I, I believe the Soul Ring. I know for a fact that Demonic Tutor was about to hit the, res, um, the, the reserve list. And they backed out. They backed off. They're like, okay, we can't do that. And I think Soul Ring as well. Could you imagine how much those cards be worth now? Had they stuck to that? Just an insane amount of money, man. Um, had they banned Soul Ring back then. You'd probably be paying five grand for a Soul Ring nowadays. Um, if that was the case. Just, and now it's just printed into oblivion and it's hard to get it to drop below two bucks, you know. It's like it's, I feel like every set. Anything commander. Anything commander that drops, there's a soul ring in there. And just think of how many there's probably tens of millions of soul rings floating around. Probably more than that even. So just think about that, you know. There's going to be a lot of cards that we're just going to pass by that might be worth something. Um, but we will slow down a little bit. That's a cool one. That was worth something a little bit ago. Um, if I do see something, I might pause for a brief moment. But got a lot of stuff to talk about, a lot of cards to open, and we want to see what's in this box. So I hope you stick around long enough. I'm going to try my best to go through this at a, a pretty good pace, you know, and still show off all the common on common cards as we do this. There we go. There's some fun little No Flying Dragon. Revel and Riches, that card uh, has gone up in price over the last few years due to the uh, crazy token strategies out there floating about. Yeah. Um, I said tokens, but yeah. Uh, the treasure artifact tokens, to be precise. Pretty neat. Caught in the Broits. Okay. Has anyone ever opened any product like this before? Um, did anyone get their hands on one of these? Were you happy with it? Were you satisfied? Were you disappointed? What was the case? Chaos Warp. That's another card that gets printed a lot, is Chaos Warp. If, if that card didn't get many reprints, that'd be like a $50 card easy. A lot of cards. Once people figure them out, and they're like, yeah, that's busted. If they didn't make mass amounts of reprints, the, the price would be through the frickin' roof. I always like propaganda. It would be just nuts, man. So, yeah. Field of Ruins, good old Archangel. Mirror Entity again. I don't like doing that. Pulling the same bozo card twice. Mirror Entity again, powerful card, but it just gets it just gets played a lot, huh? Did you say bozo? I said bozo. bozo. Don't be a bozo. Okay, here we go. Sheer drop, Treasure Cruise, sure. Sanger Vampy. Just so much to go through here. Again, not gonna spend too much time. Ooh, not bad. Okay, because if we did all day, Joey. I, I, I said that like three times now, but it's like people are like, oh my god, you skipped right over. It's fifteen dollar card, and you're over here flipping out over a Gideon Jora. Oh, what a bozo this guy is! I'm unsubscribing. Yeah, <laughs> just silliness. Oh I know. God. What the heck is right? All right, we got the wall and wishes. Ooh, what's your guys' birthday? That's a question. I'm I'm a June baby, but what are you guys? My birthday was this year. My birthday was this year. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah, all right. I'm June 20th, so put that on your calendars, everyone. I, I want my fan mail box to blow up. Uh, we can also call it a hater box for those out there who hate me. Um, by all means, go ahead, send something to the P.O. box that shows me, you know, how much you hate me. Maybe some toilet paper so I can wipe my butt, you know. Okay. It's my birthday. All is dust. Oh, who knows? No one knows. I don't think anyone knows that. 17th? 17th of August? Is that right? 14th? Man, I was way off. You got the way. <clears throat> got the right month. Got the right month down. Guys and dates. We're just not good at that stuff. But <laughs> women need to realize, you know, one day they'll, 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 they'll understand us. Flame shot. Stunt double. That's a fun card. Cool art on that guy. And recycle birdie. Yeah. Okay. We actually went through this pretty quick. So it will be nice to see what's in the... Uh, what is what is in the end? And what's the end game here? For sure, there's snap, good stuff. Swift kick in the hiney. Now the pack word of the wear. Elomir sapphire. Okay, bam. Teferi's protection. I think boxes of this right now are going for like 180 bucks, maybe with a 190. Don't quote me on that. I know they're uh, a little up there in price though. Putting all the good dollar value, high dollar pools in one one little pile, along with mythics, we're blending them in. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? That demonic tutor, though, I'm telling you, you don't see him that often. Like it's usually like one in like six boxes, maybe. I want to say one in six. After how many I've opened of this, 
I think that's about where it is. But so yeah, the one thing that uh, um, never stops amazing me is uh, I feel I've seen every card. I've opened every single card you can pull out of these, and there's a hundred. There's like eight. Was it fifteen to eighteen hundred different cards I put in these inside of a mystery booster boxes? That's crazy. So I mean, just that alone. Wow, asceticism. Fun card. Oh, nice. Two, uh, two very playables there. But yeah, again, I feel like I've seen every single freaking card, man. It's ridiculous, man. Shout out to my Geminis out there and Cancers. Because I'm a Cuspian. I know, it's crazy. Okay, release the Gremlins. There's a fun one. And then good old Destroy Boy and a bunch of tokens. And Wizen Arbiter. All right, down the nitty gritty, we have about five packs, six packs to go. And then guess what? If you guess we're opening that black box over here on the left, you would be correct. That is correct. Okay, let's see. Demonic Vigor. Oh, what a tease, what a tease. Lightning Bolt. Shout out to you, boy. Oh, they mix in the, the myth uh, rares a little early there on that one. Where would Lodge Hurricane? I came in like a hurricane. I don't know. Is that a song? No? Okay. I might have missed a few rares and have them in the uncommon pile because we were blazing through getting the back. But, uh, yeah, if we get a Ristic Tutor, a Ristic Study in the same pack, that'd be sick. Or in the same box. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Maelstrom Archangel. Phyraxian Plague Lord. Nasty boy. Okay. Two little fun cards there. And our uh, Mesmeric Lord in the back. Pretty neat. Phyraxian Plague Lord. Target creature gets minus four, minus four, minus four, Second visit creature. Target creature gets minus four, minus four, minus four, Pretty nasty. All right. But yeah, who saw those stars, I guess? That was a thing. Blue Elemental Blast. That in foils like a $6 card. A little did you know, maybe 5 Someone's like, it's $4.96. Why do you lie to me, Joey? Why do you lie to me? Greater Gargadon Revolution and the old Guild Pact. All right. If you haven't watched the channel in a while, um, let me hear from you. I appreciate you tuning back in. If uh, you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my video, oh, my goodness. I don't even know if that's, I don't, I don't think anyone's new. I don't think anyone's new here. I highly doubt it. Yeah, I don't think anyone new comes across my videos anymore. All right, there's Gnomes, Weatherland Wafer. But yeah, drop a comment if that's you. Weatherland, okay. Ooh, and Temporal Mastery in the Mythic slot. Not too shabby. Two packs to crack, jerk. It be like that. It do be like that sometimes, though. Say what? Here we go, Trail of Evidence. Okay, we got my hype person in the back. Pretty exciting. Etched Oracle, Tower of Eons. You gain 10 life. Nobody cares. Basilisk Collar. That was always one of my favorite cards. That little death touch ability, man. Equip creature has death touch and lifelink. The one to bring out. Two to equip. Pretty cool. Then once the creature dies, you just bounce that sucker. That equipment somewhere else. Pretty fun. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we get here. Thrashing runner on. Lightning Greaves. That's a solid little pull there. Taking it. And there's a barrier boy with Tiger Shadow. Pure Steel Angel. That's a fun one. Okay, that's it for that. What, oh, what is inside the little black box? Let's slice her open. Ooh, yeah, baby. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. What is all that? All right, Relentless Rats right there. That is hot to trot. Nice little Relentless Rats. We will take that for sure. Find out what is up in here one pack at a time. Phyrexian all will be one booster pack. I think there's a crazy variety here. If you, if you tune into this video, you are in for a freaking treat, man. All right, here we go. Highland. There is a foil. Silax, boy. And the Charforger. So nothing else special there. I think I will go through the cards a little bit. Um, that was a pretty cool set. That was one of the better sets they've had in a long time. Was for X -Man. There's the Brothers War Draft Booster Pack. So some serious variety going on here. I like that pool tab sometimes. Bones uh, Bones uh. Can we pull something ridiculous? Urza Silax, pretty cool. Okay, that, 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 that felt some type of way. Got the Silax with a Okay, Forging Anchor, Iron Claw. Oof, this is a fun little, little box to open, huh? A little bundle of joy, one might say. We are just blazing through. Dominary United. I mean, remember, some of these some of these packs have uh, serial numbered cards. Some got uh, 
special, you know, like only found in this product. Oh, it's Legends card. This one has Legends, I believe. Oh, no. Is it this one? Maybe not. All right, there's Phasing Boy. I thought it was Devin. Was it United? Maybe not. Okay, anyway. Oh, my goodness. A whole lot going on here. You have a lot. All right, all right, all right. Total freaking crazy value. There's Dominaria Remastered. Man, how much you guys think all this would be worth? I mean, goodness gracious. I swear, Wizards is like printing money. You know, very similar. There's some printing dough here. All right, this is fun. You can pull some nasty sauce here. Let's see what we get. Mystic Enforcer, Frixian Scuda, Improvised Armor, Overmaster, sure. Necro Savant, pretty cool. Swampage, oh, we got kind of burned. We got a little bogus on that one. We got a little bogus. All right, what are you going to do? Can't always make out like a bandit. There's March of the Machine Draft Booster. Holy variety, man. All right, Final Flourisher. Get past all the weak stuff. Let's get to the bread and butter. Omen Hawk. Okay. Ooh, hey. Those are fun. These little siege cards are great. Ren and Realm Breaker. Hot dogs. There you go. Ren and Realm Breaker showing up on the doorstep. I haven't seen one of those in forever. Pretty cool. That's big money, honey. Oh, and a Realm Breaker. Oh, Tranquil Dude. And that's all she wrote. Oh. This is just a wild freaking ride. I'm having fun. Okay, I'll mix it up, though. I won't always open Marksman Machine. There's like two more, I think, in there. But yeah, I'll start mixing it up a little bit. Let's get to them guts. Ooh, Gift of Completion. I think we got something fun here, maybe. No, not really. These are a dime a dozen now. Hey, the Mythic Invasion of Ravnica. That's dope. Good old Siege Boy. Yes, sir. That was the one I was talking about. But yeah, they're just a dime a dozen now. Back in the day, though, if you came across that, you got excited. <coughs> During, uh... Amonkhet, our devastation. You saw that border? You are flipping the script, my dude. Nowadays, no. I don't even know why they did it dirty like that. Here's Midnight Hunt. Ugh, who is sick of Midnight Hunt? Um, hands, please. The worst set, okay, what is your thoughts? Worst set in the last 10 years. Worst set last 10 years. Last 10 years. Actually, let's go five. I changed it to five. Last five years, because let's not include Dragon's Maze, because that's a dead giveaway. Last five years, worst set. There's Apprentice. Swampy and the Clue. Yeah. Um, my opinion? Oh, man. I mean, oh, gosh. Uh, I mean, Midnight Hunt and... Um, yeah, just both of these... Uh, it, it, I, I would say it could be Midnight Hunt <coughs> or... Uh, what's the other werewolf set? Both are pretty atrocious. Um, both were pretty, pretty bad. I mean, they were fire selling collector boxes at 80 bucks. I mean, come on. And now you get companies like MJ Holdings that take those, those fire sales and they, they, they buy a whole bunch in bulks, bulk amounts using multiple accounts. And then they shove them in these stupid mystery boxes, these, uh, these garbage ass collector back box packs and they sell them. Oh, it's a mystery. It ain't no mystery. Here, here, let me let me solve the mystery. You're getting ripped off. They're buying them at ten to twelve bucks a pack and reselling them for twenty five. They might have to pay a few bucks to have it on Walmart shelf. That's about it. The rest is going in their pockets, dude. They're making out like bandits, you know. Or maybe like average like ten cents a pack. They got to pay for the guy uh, who goes around and drops them off, you know. Um, you know, fills up the shelves with them. It's just seriously a shit show, man. The future and insect boy. Nothing spectacular there. All right. Whoosh. We got Crimson Vow. That's the other garbage set. Nobody really cares about, but fun opening a whole different variety or just a variety of packs here. You can't go wrong with that. It's just a fun experience. Done. Okay. Guys, child of the pack. Dominating Vampire. Pretty fun little chick there. Okay. There's planes. Oh, sure. And Human Soldier. All right. So nothing nuts. I do like the lands in that pack, though. What do we got here? New Capenna. New Capenna. Anything gorgeous in here? Maybe. Maybe. Is that card say Faker on Death? Crazy. Brass Knuckles, Cormella, Knockout Blow, and Wire Tapping. There's Wire Tapping. And here we have ourselves the Run Out of Town. Okay. So nothing too bonkers yet. I'd like to see some fat pools. We have pulled that Ren. That was nice. There's a Silex, Invasion of Ravnica, just to name a few that were pretty decent. 
Can I get one of these with a nice foil treatment on it? Because those really tickle my pickle. Okay. Riveteer's Ascendancy. Garbage right there, for sure. That one stunk. All right, Wilds of Eldraine. So that's a newer set. I didn't really open much Wilds of Eldraine. I think I kind of skipped this set altogether, which is kind of nutty. Monstrous Rage, High Fae Negotiator. I opened one box, one collector box? I don't even know, not much. The Meal Ender. Curiosity, that looks nice. That was a cool little pull right there. Okay, nice little Curiosity. And the Altered stuff. Uh, Frostbridge, Swamp, and nothing. Okay, Frostbridge, Swamp, and nothing. Ooh, another Wild Devil Dream, good. I'm kind of excited for that. Pretty decent, pretty decent set. Almost sound, almost sound like I said decent. All right, Knight and Spiteful Hex Mage. Sweetness. Impact Trims, fun, fun. Swampage and the Wicked, not much going on there. I'd say this was a very, very fun experience. Oh, we got some heavy hitters coming pretty soon here, man. We got some heavy hitters here. What's this? It's evolving Wild, what? Tap, Sacrifice, Evolving Wild, Search for Basic Land card. Put on Battlefield, Tap, then Shuffle. Oh my gosh. Dude, that card's like busted. Okay, every now and then, I swear, Wizard prints like some stupid broken card in like common or uncommon. Uh, clearly, no exception here. That's a, that's a new card. I don't think it, that's appeared in any other set. So that's cool. I'm going to put that aside. There we go. That's pretty cool. Nice to see stuff like that, you know. Night of the Sweets Revenge. Ooh, that looks nice. Beautiful Grand Squall right there. Yes, Surrey Bob. And Leyline of Abundance to Punt. Fun little pack right here we got in our hands. Very lovely, very nicely done. We will take it all day. Okay, here's where we go. Whoa, Modern Horizons 2, baby. And there's more than one, I'll tell you that. This was a fun one. Can we get ourselves the old fetchy boy? Can we crack a fetchy? That's the goal. There are some good uh, uncommon common value as well. Fractured Sanity. Mm, could have been worse, could have been better. Okay, could have been worse, could have been better. Ba -da -ba -da -bing. We're going to mix it up. Let's go... Right here, baby. Whoosh. Kamigawa. We're going now. We're going to Kamigawa. Jumping around. Still got more Modern Horizons too, though. But that is cool. Okay, something big and juicy. Poly. Oh, nice pool. Okay, cool. That's like a might be a buck or two for the Swirling Sky, but oh, that's maybe. There were reprints though. I'm not sure. I would say ten to twenty on that. I mean, but it's hard to say because they reprint shit. They, they print a good card, and then they turn around and reprint it within, like, three sets. It's like, what, or, like, two sets. It's like, what the F, man? Like, can't we have anything that's special and rare anymore? Why can't shit be like that? Why is everything that's got to be just printed into a freaking oblivion, dude? Like, chill your freaking roll already, Watsy. You know? I, I miss those times when, like, I would open just a Planeswalker and flip the script, you know? Because that was so, like, it was, like, scarce, you know? You can open an entire booster box and not get one, you know? Now it's like, here's seven in one box. You know, like, okay. Um, there's Invasion. Cool. <coughs> cool, cool. Oop, oop, oop. That is my, my rare. Oop, one rare. You go here. Get a little ahead of myself there. Bada bing. Foiling Blossoming Sands. Cool. E -o. Cool. E -o. Right. Back to Kamigawa. Come on. Neon Dynast me. Please. Give me something crazy here. We already did have one nice pool, though. I'll, I'll tell you that. March of Reckless Bulk. That's what that is. All right, nothing fancy to go out with there. One more pack of Kamigawa to close out Kamigawa. Oh, one more after that, actually. Can we get something fun out of Kami? High speed. Oh, there's Silent Spider. Human Ninja. Not even a spider. I know, it's sad, guys. Oh, the winds of time. Ooh, Modern Horizons 2. Let's pop open another one. These are just so good. We need to get some top dollar out of these, though. Let's get a high freaking pool, man. Here we go. Sunedict. Scourge Familiar. Suspend. Ugh. Now what we were hoping for. And hard evidence. Dang. Ugh. You really hope to hit a fetchy out of those. Um, we have, I think, one more of those packs left. Let's crack our last march of the machine. Some people say this is a pretty garbage set, too. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, there you go. Cool. Invasion of Kaldheim. Pretty fun. I like seeing all that. Oh, Obosh. Obosh. Big Obosh boy with Island. Kraken. All right. Here we go. Final Tamagawa pack. And then we have just one last pack to go. And we will have completed this. All right. Ooh. 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 
Ooh, True Heavens is one very fun, playable commander. And Operative in Foil. All right. Final pack. Can we go out with a bang? Choo Choo Train. Let's go. If you, if, if, if you watch this whole video, I'd appreciate it. Just drop a comment or something. Leave a like. It helps the channel, man. And uh, if you guys do enjoy the, you know, my, my videos and you always tune in, please take a moment. Hit the like, you know. I, I'd greatly appreciate it. There's Cavu. Timeless Witness. Oh, we went out like bitches. All right. There's that, man. Oh, that one hurt. We are just some female dogs up in here, guys. Well, hey, that was cool. Um, 25 minutes. And we just knocked it all out. Uh, also... Soon, I'm going to be cracking open this Lorcana Lorcan trading card game. First chapter. We're going to be bossing that buddy, but buddy, buddy open very soon. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, is this a product you would want to buy? Um, I think it was. it's pretty cool. Is it worth the money? Maybe. I couldn't even find any listings for it. It's like hard to find. So if anyone knows the actual price, let me know. I think it might be, I think it's like 300 bucks or something. Maybe more. But anyway, fun experience. Thanks for watching. Skadoosh.